It's not typical for community and technical college faculty to be whole actively involved in research. From our research. So this is helping me become a better teacher. We are here to talk about the Minnesota State REFLECT program. REFLECT stands for Research Experiences for Learning, Engaging, Connecting, and Teaching. We were really hoping that we would be awarded the $25,000 for the Innovation Shark Tank grant. Coming to an off-site location, it actually kind of enhances that feeling of something special and something unique. Hi Sharks! When we did the pits, we had mics on, there were cameras, there were lights, and so it actually kind of enhances the experience, I think, as a presenter. You know, I definitely had nervous energy, and when I get nervous, my jazz hands come out. <laughs> When you're here pitching, I think your time is so invested in making sure that your presentation is, is ready to go. We practiced a lot to be able to get our pitch down to within the seven minutes and really have the vital information that we felt would make the difference to the panel. What we were really hoping for was to be able to take a program that we developed at Anoka Ramsey, the Sotal Scholars Program, and really enhance that by providing that as an opportunity for faculty at two-year institutions from around the state to engage in research that really was reflective in taking a look at pedagogical practices and then using that evidence to inform their decisions on teaching and learning in their classroom that ultimately would impact student success. When Didi and I first received the news that we were the recipients of the, the Shark Tank grant, we were just delighted and then instantly wanted to kick it into high gear. It's really important that we reflect on our practices and change them if we need to. And a fabulous example of this is Emily Kuhn and Lisa Lettner at Anoka Ramsey Community College. So how's your shoulder feeling? So we were trying to find a way that they could better self-assess their professional behaviors that they were struggling with and videotaping them during a patient simulation skills test was the idea that we came up with. It was just good to see how I reacted with patients because when you're in the moment, you're not really thinking about how you present yourself. Those students who had participated in the study had higher marks from their clinical instructors on those professional behaviors. One of the things I love about Men Reflect is that it supports reflective teaching. And a great example of this is Jason Burroughs over at Hennepin Tech. And his particular research study really asks the question, is what I'm doing in the classroom having the impact on students that I want it to have? Anytime you set up an assignment, it's somewhat of a, an obstacle. It's a barrier to their success. I want to know how they are feeling as they engage in that obstacle. Is that obstacle too far? Is it, is it too big of a stretch? What are your observations? Reflect is giving me a chance to dig into alternatives, to dig into the research. My research is looking at our lab attendance policies in the chemistry department and whether we can have a flexible lab policy that still encourages student attendance in lab and achieves the learning goals. Life happens, right? I have a daughter and, you know, she gets sick. This is a very important class. If we are going to see a change in department policy come out of this, it would be data-driven. As a recipient of the Shark Tank $25,000 innovation grant, we were then asked to come back and actually provide a table in the exhibition hall. And we were able to connect specifically with Erica Adams from Northwest Technical College. And I thought it was an amazing idea. We wrote a pay it forward grant and were awarded the funding. And so we have focused on trades faculty here at, at Northwest Technical College. Do a lot of problem solving. You yeah, slide it down to where those 90s are. We need to quantify how well a student is understanding the steps involved in order to come up with a solution. So how best to get students to practice that and to develop that skill is really what we're after. I thought it was a good opportunity to further my teaching and help me become a better teacher. I didn't even really know what a rubric was, <laughs> so uh, now I'm making them and this is helping me evaluate some of the choices I've made and now I can uh, better assess the students' learning abilities. 
think that's really where Minnesota State is focusing is on helping all of us to learn from one another, to look at the best practices that are offered at the different institutions and then finding out how we can replicate that. That strengthens our system.